So what is the secret to success on YouTube? If you're wondering what that is there, uh, I call myself shaving uh, because I'm a very bad shaver. Um, but the secret is to be intelligent, to have a high IQ. All right, and I was wondering why am I so unsuccessful as a YouTuber? I just don't seem to understand. And it was because my IQ was a bit too low, okay? Um, below average, definitely. Still probably am below average, um, chances are. But, you know, the thing is about, you know, when it comes to improving intelligence, uh, IQ, and stuff like that, it takes time to build. All right, it's a very, very simple process. Like, you know, at the moment, I'm just trying to spend like an hour and a half every day just um, uh, reading. Um, you know, that's it. That's as simple as that. But then it takes time. Do you know what I mean? So it's, um, I've only been doing this for like three, four months, but I feel like I've improved my intelligence, but it's still a bit low. So it's just about being patient and just keep improving. So, um, that's the thing. Don't be, um, don't be, uh, um, don't be disheartened. Um, if, if you're not successful, you gotta just keep, keep at it. Um, you gotta find ways to be successful and you, or be, um, to improve your intelligence. And to improve your intelligence, there's so many different ways you can do it. You can, read a book like I am reading this book on Neville Southall you can read The Way of the Runner I already read that book uh what else I've got another book somewhere where is it uh oh can't find it uh, oh here we go yeah The Runner another book so yeah you can do that you can do maths puzzles you can do sudokus you could do you can just make youtube videos talk to a camera for an hour every day uh or even half an hour every day is okay if, if you're a beginner um and there's all these different things you can do all right, you know, even playing sport, playing a technical sport like soccer, even that could be a good mental brain workout, okay? So, yeah, um, do these things and, um, you know, um, stress your brain, but let your brain recover. That was a mistake I made in the past when I was uh, studying. Um, I used to always uh, overdo it. You know, my dad's like, oh, you know, six, seven hours a day. Go, 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 go to some studying. You know, and that, that's what I did. And I burnt out. And I wouldn't prove because I was overdoing it. My brain just couldn't recover. So now I'm just like, right, small doses, but keep it consistent. All right, so an hour and a half of reading a day at the moment, maybe, who knows, maybe, maybe I'll increase that two hours if I can, um, if I, if I can, if an hour and a half feels too easy, then again, you got to remember, I do work a full-time job, so um, I don't have all the time in the world, but, you know, I'm going to try to use my time effectively, you know, if, you know, um, but then again, you got to, you got to find out what is, um, the right dosage for you because i was reading this book the way of the runner and i was reading it for like two hours a day and then you know my brain was just wrecked after a couple days i was like whoa okay i need to take a step back and i was like right do an hour and a half and i've been doing, reading for an hour and a half every day and i think that's the right dosage so yeah you've got to get the right dosage to get the healthy dosage and look it could be you know if you're starting out it could be like just for half an hour a day and slowly building up it's like running you know if you're you know a 30 minute 5k runner running you know 15 or even 20 miles a week is going to help you improve um, significantly. So just keep consistent and, um, you know, that, that's the key to success. Um, like Ryan Trahan, you know, Ryan Trahan didn't just sit on his arse all day watching television growing up and then suddenly at 18, right, I'm going to start making YouTube channels and then, oh, everybody, you know, he, he gets 2 million subscribers after 3 years. No, it was, you know, I believe he was um, started young. He, maybe he was, he was younger. He was into reading books. Maybe he was, maybe his parents maybe did things with him maybe did like board games with him um you know maybe actually listened in school and actually learned stuff unlike me there's there's all these factors at play you know i'm sure you know and right train he got um <clears throat> he got what's it called uh valedictorian when he's 18 so he's the smartest guy in his class in his year group i was probably one of the lowest in my year group i'd be surprised if even two people in my year group got lower leaving certain results than i did okay so yeah it's a, that simple um you, you know, like my friend, he told me once, you know, when it comes to studying when I was in college, treat it like you would treat uh, running. And I was like, yeah, that that's that's what I do now. When it comes to YouTube, um, when it comes to improving my intelligence, I treat it like running. You know, you got to be consistent, do it every day, but know when to stop, know when it st takes it back. Know um, the point where you very, where you re know the point where you say, right, no, I've done enough today. I'm going to save, save till tomorrow. Um, yeah, you got to do it that way. You got to be consistent, patient. And don't burn yourself out.